Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 77 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Uh-oh, sounds like we got some troublemakers upstairs. Yeah, those mandrakes are going crazy. I actually took the lamps off up there because we had plenty of uh, resources. So I'm letting the farm stay as is, but, you know, not leaving the lamps up so that it doesn't go too crazy. And it'll maintain, you know, what it's been doing. Uh, right now, what I'm doing is just poking around with some cabling and just changing around some stuff. I think I want to put, like, here, here. I'm going to remove this guy and set up a nice little interface here. That should get everything reconnected back to the way it was. What I'm setting up is another um, one of these ender chest keep items stocked situations. What I'd like to be able to do is like keep a, a set of items that'll always be useful for me uh, with witchery. And uh, I'll keep this ender chest over at my witchery area so that if I ever need to access some of the common items that I'm gonna need, like some of the flowers and the saplings and all that stuff, um, along with you know a few other bits and bobs, we'll uh, wind up basically having the stuff always available so green green brown was kind of the choice i went with for color there it kind of seemed appropriate i don't know makes sense to me witchery ish um and then of course a similar setup to what we have had in the past um of course it's not easy to get back there one of these days i swear i'm going to do a new base i really will i will i will i totally will um right now though eh Unless you guys want me to spend an episode or two working on a new base. I'd rather play with witchery at this point. So I think that's what I'm going to focus on for now. Alright, that all looks good. Uh, so we can get this guy set up. We can get this guy set up. We'll put the diamond nugget on there to keep certain items stocked at all times. So the first thing I'm thinking about is saplings. Uh, we're probably going to want a handful of each of the saplings available. Uh, so let's see. We've got hawthorn and apple and jungle and rowan and spruce. Uh, now these guys, biomes of plenty, biomes of plenty, another witchery one, we'll definitely want that one. Biomes of plenty, tinkers, witchwood, silverwood, birch. Yeah, I think that would be a good one. So that's seven items already. Oh boy. So we're going to have to figure out a better uh, method for this. I have an idea though, don't worry. We'll be fine. Trans, you know, just you. Here, do that please, thank you. So what I'll do is I'll set this up, and we'll say, like, keep half a stack of each of these available at all times. It's funny, sometimes you left click and you get the half stack, sometimes you get just one. I don't know what the deal is with that. Ah. Fix that. Uh, you were jungle, alright. Cool. 29 is plenty. Uh, we'll bump this guy up past that. We'll make it 22. Um, and then we'll set up a similar system over here. Export config for each of these. So obviously we can only do eight of these types of things at a time. So we're going to have to have two of these translocators here uh, ready to roll. But that's not a problem. Because we've got another spot right here where we can stick it. So that'll be good. So you guys should be populating. And if I hit this button, you should be doing what I want you to do keeping exactly the right amount of items stacked at all times. Cool. Um, the other thing I'm thinking, at the very least, we'll want some of those clay jars. So let's craft like 10 of those. So those are easy to make, right? You just turn clay into soft clay jars and then they get smelted into clay jars. Cool. So I'm thinking like, you know, maybe keep another half stack would be probably a good idea. 28. 32, that looks good. Sure, why not? So that should start crafting them. So if we check our crafting monitor, which we might be able to reach from back here, yeah, you can see it's still working on clay jars for us. Um, cool. Good, it is crafting them and continuing to do what we want it to do. And we can see them slowly but surely getting crafted and smelted and kept secure right here. Perfect, we got up to 32. That's what I wanted to see. Nice. So that's the first set um, of stuff. Let's get another set of things right here. So we'll want another translocator set up with the same kind of deal. You and you. And we'll get another diamond nugget for it. And uh, I'm not exactly sure what else I'm going to want. I'll probably want those different types of flowers, like the belladonna and the mandrake root and all that stuff. Oh boy, hold on. Stop it. Stop it. Thank you. Put all this stuff back where it belongs. 
All right. Um, so yeah, in here we'll probably want those flowers from witchery. I don't think I can just search for witchery stuff, so I'm gonna have to know them off the top of my head. I think it's belladonna, flower. Let's look for seeds. Um, I don't know how much snowbell is gonna be needed, so I'm gonna leave them out for now and water artichoke as well. But we'll definitely want some mandrakes. So we'll do again a half a stack of each. Oh, you know what? That's right. This is a limiter too. We might need another interface here instead of. Yeah, we'll have to see. We'll come up with something. Let's craft up another interface. Hopefully that should be good. There we go. Nice and quick. I'll put this guy right here. And all we really need is another cable. And then we can say, you know, 32 of you get stocked, and 32 of you get stocked. And then the same deal. We just want 32, and 32. There we go. Probably put a few more in than I needed, but that'll straighten it out. Cool. Look good. So this will keep us stocked. We've got six more items, I think, right, in total that we can have these guys keep stocked in the inventory at all times. And if we really needed to, we could do a few more. Um, but I think that's good for now. That'll at least get the basics in. So now we've got pretty much everything we're going to need handy. Um, and if we run into some other stuff that we need commonly, I'm trying to think what else I might need like very frequently over there, but I really can't think of much. Um, so yeah, we'll stick with it and we'll see what happens. Uh, so as we start messing with things, we should be in good shape. So let's start looking at some of the other cool stuff we can make with witchery. And let's also go take a look at our witchery area over here. And I'll drop off my ender chest right over here with the other machines and such. So we've got a nice little crafting table right next to it. We've got stuff handy. Whenever I need more clay jars, I just pull them out and they'll automatically be populated back into the chest. Nice, right? And then I can keep these things full because it is pretty important to keep this stuff as full as uh, we can. And any extras can go back in here and it won't be a problem. Good deal. Uh, let's see. We've got an altar with almost 10,000. That's pretty good. Um, as the Spanish moss grows, and it has been growing, you can see I've got, uh, or I had a little bit on me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just snag some. And you can see um, it's pretty good. It grows pretty quickly. It's not terribly hard to get. Uh, we've got the distillery ready. We're going to start working on that a little bit. And instead of fuel, this thing just runs off the uh, magical power of the altar. So we're able to keep that thing running. And we've just got a whole bunch of stuff all over the place. Uh, melons and pumpkins. Pretty much any natural substance will kind of add to this environment and increase the altar's power. Now, the altar does have a range, I want to say... Uh, of, is it seven blocks radius? Let me take a look. Uh, oh, no, wait. An altar has a range of about 14 to 16 blocks, um, and that's pretty good. But you can extend it um, to about 32 blocks by placing an Arthana on the altar. So we're probably going to want those. So let's get an Arthana. We're going to actually want two of them because we want to have one for our purposes, and we're also going to want one for the altar. So this is going to increase the range of this guy. So an Arthan is actually not too hard to make. We just need an emerald, which, as you guys know, we're not hurting for those at the moment. Hooray. Um, and I had some Spanish moss, so let me just get that back out of the AE system. Cool. And that's looking pretty good. So an Arthana right up here on the altar will increase the radius that it can uh, power some things. Like, for example, what I'm talking about exactly. Let's take this uh, distillery for a moment as an example. So as we mentioned, it only has a default radius of what I say, like 14 to 16 blocks. So maybe over here it might not reach, right? Yeah, see? No good. Um, let me just get out my nifty little tape measure here to make sure yeah see that's 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 a decent range so let's go ahead and throw the arthana on here and this should bump it up to the point like that where it can now reach so if we come down here just as an example 
you should be getting power at this point, I would think. Maybe it's still a little too far. I did bring it, like, way down, of course, so. Yeah, it might be cutting it close. I want to say it's, like, yeah, we'll see. Let's bring it a little bit closer here. We brought it, like, over here, maybe. Just want to test to make sure that this is really working the way it's supposed to. Starting new measurement. 24. So that should be reaching, I would think. Yeah, look at that. That definitely reaches. Cool. All right. Now, if we didn't have the Arthana on there, which I guess I'd just do that to take it off. There we go. So it's no longer working. So this thing does boost the range, which is good. We're going to want a good range boost because uh, some of the things we're going to want to do are actually pretty large in size. So um, they're going to take up a large area here. So we might not want to do them right inside the middle of this forest. I want this thing to have a nice long radius that it can, can power things. And then we can uh, set this up. So let me go sleep through the night here. Uh, let me put this guy back where he belongs. I kind of like, all right, yeah. Put the clay jars back on it. There we go, they're ready to go. Sleep through the night, and then we'll be back and start messing around with some new gadgets. So by the way, one of the other things you might want to grab from Witchcraft, there are some books in here. Uh, now a couple of them you don't really need too badly because there is a good NEI integration in here, but one you'll definitely want to get is the Circle Magic book. So that's one I've got right here. Uh, that one's definitely going to be useful. Uh, you might want Brews and Infusions, um, or maybe even Symbology. I don't know if I remember that one. Oh, you need an ent twig. All right, so we're gonna need to get one of those anyway because ent twig has some cool stuff in it that you can do. Um, so circle magic is gonna help you out because you're gonna be able to find, there's 74 pages in this book of different circles that you can draw um, in, in the world and uh, you're gonna need different kinds of chalk to draw these circles and there's all kinds of different stuff you can do with them as well. So let's look at maybe starting out with some of this stuff and seeing what kind of neat things we can do. Uh, so I'll be back in a minute once I decide which of the uh, many many circles that are available I want to start out with first. So guys, funny story, but I'm actually a little bit low on dirt. So I'm going to show you a neat trick about how to get lots of dirt if you want. Uh, you can go ahead and take eight of any sapling, and I've got a ton of these, right? And you can get plant balls from Industrial Craft 2. These guys tossed into a macerator will turn into dirt. Check this out. Let's see, they might be dropping into the furnace, though. Oh, what are you cooking into? Oh, dried dirt. That's not good. I think I might have to get myself another macerator and kind of get that guy to not do that. So I might want to teach the system how to make dirt, because believe it or not, I'm actually really low on dirt. Let's see. I've got, because of that big area that I built over there, 49 dirt, items requestable, 9 out 376. So I do have a little bit more. I've got a few stacks here, but I just want to be able to make a few more if we wanted to. How easy would it be to make a macerator? Oh, just need a machine block. Can I do that? There we go. Macerator, and I want some more cable, just a little bit of gold. And maybe even a basic import bus. Precision, basic should be fine. I don't think I need anything fancier than that, right? So we'll let that guy craft up real quick. Just drop this thing down here. A little bit of power, maybe. I don't think, yeah, he does need power into there. Eh, we might need to make this one a little bit manual for now, but that's fine. We can just throw these in here as needed, and they'll cook it up. I wouldn't mind some overclockers, though, because if I'm going to be doing this manual, I don't want to wait too long. Didn't I teach my A system how to make 10K coolant cells? I could have sworn I did. Water can? No, water... Okay, let me teach that real quick. Oh. This one I did this, but it was probably with um, something else. Oh. I can do it right here, that's fine. There we go. 
So now I can request 10k coolant cells. And if I want eight of these, I'm gonna need 24. So let's actually get like 32 of them. Go, have fun. Ah, you're doing that drinking thing, aren't you? All right, we'll be back in a minute. Let me get this fixed up. Oh, look at that. I forgot I have a manual macerator set up right here. That's right. Uh, so let me just teach this thing real quick that if we take one plant ball, we should get one dirt. Cool. That makes it a lot easier. I forgot I had that guy set up. See what happens? Easy to forget stuff sometimes. All right, so that's good there. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting myself just a few more overclockers for that. So we'll get as many as we can for. That sounds good, right? Because we've currently got five in there, so that'll be real fast. Cool. So I can just drop these in, right? And you should work real good. Nice. All right. Just wanted to set that up and show you guys that that was a way to make dirt if you're ever really low. Um, I just want to expand the area out here a little bit, so I'll be back in a few minutes when that's done. you got to love the builder's wand for stuff like this until you run out of dirt. But still, I mean, it's pretty awesome. All right, so that area is expanded now. I just wanted to, like, spread that out a little bit. Let's see, how am I for dirt? I can get a little bit more. That should be at least enough. It's funny how, like, you never think you're going to want more dirt, and then all of a sudden you don't have any. And you're like, oh, well, that's a hassle. The trick with using the Builder's Wand in dirt, by the way, is not letting the dirt turn into grass, because the Builder's Wand recognizes dirt and grass as different um, item IDs. So, um, to get it to switch, I have cobblestone down in place of it. Oh, that's fine. I'll leave it there. And then I can just wand of equal trade it. And you're done. Cool. So that will turn to grass briefly, uh, pretty soon. We'll see. I might need it to be a little wider, but for now it's probably good enough. Uh, let's see, I can probably bump it out a little bit. Oh, out of dirt again. All right, so I'll uh, start off crafting a little bit of dirt. You know what I can do? I'll just request like 512 of it, and it'll just process while I'm waiting. I'll just real quick teach this guy about saplings turning into plant balls. That can go in there, and then we can say, hey, I need dirt, please. And it should start doing that. We'll see. Crafting monitor, dirt. Go for it. Have fun. All right, so to get started with circle magic, we're going to need some ritualistic chalk. Okay, so in order to get this stuff, there's a couple things we need. First off, we need some tears of the goddess, which requires a breath of the goddess and some lapis in a distillery. Good thing we got one of those earlier. Breath of the goddess, by the way, some of that birch sapling. So we have any of that breath of the goddess? Let's see. I should probably keep just a regular old chest. Let's see, do I have one of those? A good, decent-sized one? Diamond chest. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here from witchery? I don't think I can just search by witchery-related items, right? No, I didn't think so. No. Uh, that's okay. So we've got that. We're going to want some lapis. So let's just grab a stack of it just so we have it. And how are we for saplings? We're still not doing too good with those annoying saplings, but that's all right. We've got a lot of wood ash. We'll just take this stuff with us. No need to keep it in the A system when we're going to basically always need it out there. And, and also to get some of that chalk, we're going to need some gypsum, which uh, is made with some more quicklime and a foul fume, which is made with uh, pretty much oak wood. So that's not a problem. So let's get some oak wood. And foul fume, do we have any? No, that's all right, we can get some. So let's kick it off over here. We'll start smelting this stuff down nice and quickly. So we're gonna want first off to get some of the oak wood in here. We'll turn that and then we'll also throw down this nice chest. Which will hold some other stuff for us. Cool, that's good for now. I'll leave my Arthana in there as well as, well as my Spanish moss. Yeah, that looks good. So now Let's get ourselves some more birch saplings. I am just not having any luck with this whole sapling situation with birch. So I think I have a solution. It's not going to be too fun for me. But look, like it's not even gotten the farm up and running yet. So let's see. There's an item from forestry that can help us out. It's 
Probably in here somewhere. Let's see. Where are you at, buddy? Lots and lots of bees, obviously, in forestry. There it is, the grafter. So let's see, there's a couple kinds of grafters, actually. We could get a thaumium one. What's involved in making that? I just want to check real quick how hard it would be to get a thaumium grafter, because that would probably be nice to have. But if not, I can just get a regular old boring plane grafter. Let's see here. Um, probably going to need to grab our book. Where is my Thalmanomicon? Is it in here? Oh, there it is. Ha. So it's under Magic Bees. I'm um, missing required research. Eh, I'll just get a regular old grafter for now. No biggie. And we're actually going to want a couple of them. Proven grafters you can't craft, but these guys are pretty easy. We're going to want, like I said, a handful, because they only have about five or six uses each. What else we'll probably want is bone meal. But I think it'll work on vanilla trees, won't it? Well, that's weird. It's not taking any damage. I don't remember that changing. Alright, let me poke around with this for a little bit, figure out why that might be, why it's not taking any damage. That might just be a weird little bug with forestry. Uh, but at the very least, I got a few more birch saplings. So I'm cooking up that in the witch's oven. While that's waiting, I'm going to combine the quick lime. Quick lime, by the way, is really easy to make. You just get some of that wood ash and put it in a crafting table and you get quick lime right out of it. Um, we'll combine that for the gypsum with foul fumes. So one, two, three of those. And we should see the distillery start to cook up. Nice. So that'll run for a few minutes and then we'll get, like you saw, some of these items here. And you'll occasionally get slime balls out of it too, which is nice. Um, You'll also get uh, the oil of vitriol, which we could use later. And in the meantime, I got Breath of the Goddess, which is good. So I'm going to want to toss that in here with, uh, I'll throw the coal in there. Why not? And we'll get uh, three more. I know, wait, we wanted lapis for that. Three of them. And that'll get us the next piece we need. So once this is done distilling, we'll be back. All right, let's give it a try. Do I have enough to make? Ritual chalk, nice. And then I should be able to turn one of these ritual chalk into a golden chalk. This is actually really important stuff. This is what's going to be used to, to form the very center or the basis of your uh, system out here. So let's see, what kind of rituals can we do? There's actually quite a few nifty ones. Um, let's take a look first at the rite of charging because we're going to need some charged stones. Um, and this is kind of a good opener to start with because it allows you to kind of get what you need to get. So I'm going to try and do it over here. Let's see. Um, I know that in order for this to work we're going to want five blocks around the golden chalk so if we do it that there one two three four five we could actually stretch that out a little bit and you want to be a little careful about using this chalk because it does have durability so if we did one two three four five probably just put it right here right and then to draw the lines is really not too bad you basically do it exactly like you see it in here so uh, a good way to start is just by going around like the edges like that and you'll see here we've got that going on. Uh, let's see. They need, so I think maybe that's two blocks away. Maybe that's the case. Yeah, because if I put that here, that wouldn't work. That's right. It's three by three is the basic, the most basic one. And then five by five is the next one. So three, that there, one, two, three, that there, one, two, three, that there, one, two, three, and that there. So that's your first circle. That's your three by three circle, just like that. Okay. Um, then you do a five by five circle, which looks something like that. So you'll want um, these guys extended and then just connectors in between there, right? So it's one block further away, but five instead of three, um, and then you can connect them, right? There you go. So connect them like that diagonally. 
and there you go. Now you've got a five by five circle around that. Now to bind uh, some magical energy. Now hopefully this is close enough to the altar to draw power from it. It might be cutting it close, but I'm trying to you know maximize my range as best I can. If it's not, it's not, and we'll have to deal with that. But we'll live. Um, so let's see. We're going to want one of those crystals. Uh, let's see. What is it from witchery here? It's called a crystal. Oh, a tombstone. That's right. So crafting one is pretty easily done. And then to bind the magic into it, we have to get some glowstone, redstone, wood ash, and quicklime. I've got all that stuff except for glowstone and redstone. You know what? Let's just get a bunch of that because we're going to need some anyway. So we'll just get a whole stack of each. And then uh, we've got quicklime and everything else back out here. So obviously this chalk you will run through a lot. So we're going to want to create some kind of auto crafting process for that. We'll figure out a good way to do it. It's actually a little tricky, believe it or not, but we'll come up with something. All right, so that I think looks pretty good, right? Yeah. So let's see how it works. Uh, we need some quicklime and some wood ash, so that's easy to get, right? And then to get this thing to do its thing, all we got to do is drop a tombstone, glowstone, redstone, wood ash, and quicklime. So what you do is you drop it on the ground. And then to activate the ritual, you right click. And it'll take all the items and then spit out the resulting item. So now we've got a charged attuned stone. And that did use some of the power from the altar. So if we come over to the altar here, we'll see that we're short about 2,000. I mean, it's obviously recharging itself pretty quickly. Um, but you can see here it tells you that it used 2,000 altar power. So the good news is, is that we managed to get our circle pretty much correctly done over here. So I'm, I'm happy about that. That's nice. Um, and that means that we can probably have another circle like right here-ish and maybe another circle over here-ish. I don't know. We'll see. Will this let me do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? So yeah, I can do here and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to here. Eh, if I wanted to do a seven by seven circle here, that would be pretty large. And that would probably take up a large amount of space. But I could probably bump the the dirt terrain over here a little bit and maybe squeeze in another circle if I needed to. So we've got room for a few circles to go down. We can do some cool stuff with them. Uh, let's take a look real quick at what else we might want to play with now that we've got this basic component down. By the way, guys, you're not really supposed to be able to do this, but you can. Um, I think it's going to be fixed in future versions of Witchery, but you can actually repair the chalks. Um, so not super intended, but hey, you know what? While it works, it works, and I'm going to use it. <laughs> it just saves you a little bit of gypsum. It's not really that big a deal, and especially with all my issues that I'm having with birch trees, eh, I'm all right with using it. So we've got that set up. I just want to show that to you. All right, guys, before we wrap up here, there's one more thing I want to make, and that is a kettle. Uh, kettles are pretty neat and very useful uh, to make some potions with, and we're going to start checking out some of the potions maybe in the next episode here. Uh, but actually, you know what? Before I run over there with that, I do need to set a fire. And you want to be a little careful in a big grove of forests and stuff uh, before you set fires. So let's grab a little piece of netherrack and a flint. I don't have any flint and steel. All right, well, I do now. I'm sure, I've got some somewhere. All right, let's go see where we can put this guy. You know what else we're going to need is a, is a good amount of water. So let's see. I can just request... Hmm. I guess I'll get some buckets of water and do a 2x2, two two, but... I don't know. I feel like there's a better way to do this. So where do I want to set down this kettle? That's a good question. Because we want to make sure not to uh, light any trees on fire. That would probably be bad, right? I kind of wouldn't mind having it right here with all my other stuff, but we want to be real careful about these trees. I mean, this is a pretty enclosed area. Let's see, where do I want to put this? All right, guys, I think that this is relatively safe. These leaves might here might pose a problem. Um, just trying to be as safe as I can with starting a fire right in the center of this grove. You do want the kettle to be somewhat near the altar. So let's see. That might be pretty good, right? What is it, like four blocks or something up and over? Maybe just to be safe, clear out a little bit more space. I think it's something like four blocks. So 
So that should be pretty good. I mean, we'll just light this guy and we'll see what happens now. And if it works, it works. Go. Don't start any fires, please. Ah. Okay. That's all right. Might burn away some of the nearby grass, but I'm not worried about that. So far, so good. No giant fires. No burning down of my entire forest. I will be happy for that. All right, uh, so we'll start that here. We'll put down the kettle and we'll see what happens. So the kettle can be placed like that. And it actually looks pretty good if you've got like a couple blocks next to it. So it looks like it's being supported by it, but it's not absolutely necessary. Then the only other thing we need is a infinite water source. I'm gonna start with a just a two by two of water here, but I think I'm gonna make this a little bit fancier in a little bit. Uh, just don't have time this episode to do that. There and there. So far, so good. No fires, no burning down of trees, no burning down of anything. All right. Whew. Uh, so to get this thing brewing is real easy. You just got to drop some water into it. And then we can start brewing. Now, there is a book uh, for brewing. And uh, it's probably a bad idea for me to run away from this thing right now because I have no idea if the fire is going to start spreading. But if it does, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, let's take a look at the brewing book. And then we're going to have to wrap up. Uh, let's see. Witchcraft, brews, and stuff. Uh, so we're going to need a book, and we're going to need some Odor of Purity, which is Hawthorn Sapling. All right, so let's get some books. That'll do. Put away this stuff that I don't need at the moment. Oh, Hawthorn Sapling. Perfect. Uh, that's all right. And then um, we'll just get the items and bring them out there with us so we can craft it. One, two, three. And Odor of Purity, right? No giant fires yet? I'm like running over here desperately hoping that this entire forest isn't on fire. All right, cool. So uh, odor of purity, just some hawthorn saplings. I'll put all three in, doesn't hurt. And that should be that. So we'll put our chalk in here. Oh good, odor of purity, cool. So there's actually quite a few brews that we can make, and we're going to start playing around with these probably in a nearby episode. Some really good stuff that we want to make, um, and the most important one is uh, the redstone soup, which can be used for some pretty important stuff. And you can see here it does require some altered power. However, for now, it's time to wrap up the episode. So far, we're safe from the fires. All right, guys, this is Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Uh, having a lot of fun with witchery, obviously. This episode kind of flew by for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. And uh, we'll be back next time to look at some more stuff. And by the way, the Direwolf20 pack is uh, updating, or has updated, I think, at this point. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. That's fine. This stuff grows quickly enough. Um, so we should be, I believe at this point, on version 1.0.23. So uh, good news is we have a new mod. Check this out. We're going to start playing with this one in the future once we're done with witchery, I think. Pneumatic Craft. That's right. Pneumatic Craft is now available in the pack. So if you guys want to start messing with it, go for it. Um, we'll obviously have a lot of other stuff to play with pretty much in the nearby future. And I'll be uh, going through Pneumatic Craft very soon uh, for you guys so you can see how it all works. All right, guys. Take it easy.